today we're learning how to make this beautiful Porsche inspired presentation in PowerPoint. It's a really modern design which uses a lot of nice functionalities in PowerPoint and gives a very clean look all the way from scratch. The tutorial consists of different chapters where we look at each of the five slides and I'll put the timestamps on the screen right now. For this presentation I'm using my grey color palette which you can see on the screen. Let's start from a blank slide and we're actually going to start with the second slide. So let's format the background and choose a gradient fill. Here we choose the standard selection here where we have light grey in the middle and it gets gradually darker towards the edges. We're going for the radial fill so that we have this nice circular effect. First thing we want to do is we want to add the picture to the slide. So I found this nice picture online on Unsplash. I'll link it in the description below. And we want to go for the crop option. We're going to crop the shape and we're going to select this tilted rectangle. This is a pretty nice effect on the slide. We're going to drag it slightly to the right. And then with this yellow handle, you can choose how much of a tilt that you want in your rectangle. So we're going for slight tilt that looks about right. If you right click crop again, you can also choose how much you want to crop of your picture. So if you want to modify it, you can adjust it here and then click enter once you're done. Next, we want to add the picture of the car. This one I also found online. You can just look for it on the website or on Google. Always look for transparent pictures and make sure that you select a high resolution one so you can zoom in and out enough and it doesn't lose the quality. We're going to position it in the middle of the slide, be a little bit downwards. And then we'll want to create this effect below. So it gives a nice edge between the road, but we want a more clean version on the bottom. So we're going to shapes and we're going to insert the same shape that we have used. Drag it on the slide, position it at the bottom and then play around with the angles until it meets the edges. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can go slightly around the edges or slightly wider. Remove the outline. And for this, we're going for the nice yellow color fill. This way we have the same color used in the wheels as well as the color that comes back in the trees. So that is always nice. Click on the car, bring to front. This way it is in front of both objects. Shift it a little bit to the right so it covers the edge. That looks quite clean. That is the effect that we want to create. Now let's add some text, give it a title d 911 Tur turbo s and then let's grab some text add some text from the website and now we're going to change the fonts we're going to use avenir next for both of them and we're going for a dark gray font type reduce the font type a little bit select the title and here we're going to use bold paragraph text we're going to use a very light font the ultra light and reduce the text size this gives us quite a nice paragraph on the slide and instantly you get a pretty modern looking feel on this slide already and that is the effect that we want to create of course now we can move to the first slide and it's always good that you start with the most important slide duplicate it and then we select the first slide and here we can just play around with the elements we're going to shift the picture and the yellow rectangle to the right and the car we're going to move to the left. This way it will give the illusion that the car drives into the picture and then the elements slide in from the right. The text or the paragraph we can delete and now we're going to add the logo to the page, center it in the middle, make it a little bit larger, right click, format picture and I've added a drop shadow to the right, add a little bit of a blur, that way it looks quite clean on the slide. And now if we go to the second slide and apply the morph transition, you can see that the car jumps in and let's play this on full screen. We can see that on the click, the logo fades, the car flies in nicely and all the elements go in place. That is already the first slide done. Now let's move on to the next slide. And for that, we're going to duplicate. We want to remove the text box. Now we select the picture and the rectangle and we move it to the left. This way we get the illusion that the car drives forward. We're going to increase the size of the car and shift it to the right. 
so that about half of the car is visible on the screen. Let's select this text box again, position it on the right side as a content fill, and then fill it with content that you want. I'm going to take some content from the website, performance. I'm going to duplicate this, hold control, shift and drag to create a copy. Second point is design. Again, hold control, shift and drag. And then the third point, which is comfort. There we go. Stretch them out a little bit so they're about the same size. Select all three while holding shift. So if you click on one text box, you select it, hold shift, click on the second one and then shift, hold shift while you select the third one. And then you can select them all at once. We're going to the shape format, align and distribute vertically. This way, the spacing in between is the same. Now, I think it's nice if we add a title to the slide. So copy that text box. It's always nice if you just grab some text, control C, control V, it automatically creates a new text box. Let's give this title turbo S, the model of the car, font size a little bit bigger, 60, looks good. Maybe one more, 66, and then position it in the center of the slide. Go for one larger, and then make sure that everything aligns nicely. Now let's see if we add a transition, apply the morph transition, and that gives us quite a nice effect. It's not entirely smooth, so what we're going to do is we're going to hold shift and select all three text boxes. We're going to the second slide and we're going to paste the text boxes here. We're going to drag them to the right, scroll backwards. If you hold control, you can scroll backwards. And then we're going to select the text boxes and spread them out a little bit to the side. This way they will fly in with the morph transition and that will look better. Transitions, let's click on morph again and see how it goes. That looks quite good. Let's play it through on full screen for what we have so far. So the opening slide, we click, the car comes in, we click again, the car moves to the left and the three elements fly in place. That brings us to the fourth slide. And for the fourth slide, we want to highlight three main points, like the three facts of the car. We're going to right click duplicate the slide or control D. Here we no longer need the rectangle element, so we can get rid of that. We're also going to remove the text, but leave the performance on the slide. We're going to reuse that. Move the car to the center. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. Hold control shift and then drag to scale it down in the perfect size. If you uh, grab it from this side, you can stretch the car that is not nice. Same if you do it from the top, you will stretch it the other way. Always grab it from the corners. And then if you hold control, it will scale it from the center. That is quite a nice trick to know. Now let's look at the three main facts or important points from that car. And it's going to be 640 horsepower and then some text below, maximum power. We're going to remove the spacing, make it a bit smaller and center it to the middle. Increase everything in size because we're only going to use three key points. Maybe this text can be low, smaller. That way the 640 pops out. Oh, little typo. The 640 is the thing that gets your attention first. And then maximum power is like the second most important thing, the little the explanation. Hold control and shift and drag. Do that two times. For the second one, we're going 2.6. And that is our 0 to 60 miles per hour. For the last one, 2 of 5 miles per hour. That is the top speed and we mentioned that as top track speed. Now here we can see that the text boxes are not aligned. What we can do is go to arrange while selecting them all, distribute horizontally, but this way it will not, it will distribute them horizontally amongst the three of them. If you want to select them or position them in the center of your slide, you have to go to align, align to slide first, and then distribute horizontally and this way they position or they are distributed along the slide in this case i think it's a bit sad that it doesn't align with the car so i'm going to control z and use another trick because i like this distance it's about the same as the car i'm going to group the objects together and then i'm going to align to center and this way the three points are nicely aligned ungroup again and then you have the same effect and now we want to select our three objects go to the previous slide paste them, hold shift, 
while you drag them upwards. This way you move in a straight line. And then let's ease them out a little bit. There we go. So they fly in at a different rate. Go to transitions, apply the morph transition. And now you get the three facts of the car flying in nicely on your next slide. This is our fourth slide, which is pretty cool. Now let's head over to the last slide of the presentation, which is the closing slide. Right click, duplicate slide. We're going to remove the three text boxes and we're going to add a title. And I like this Turbo S title, so I'm going to paste it here again, center it, also position it in the middle of your slide, make it a little bit wider. If you hold control, you will increase it from both sides, the text box, and give it a title, Porsche, do it in all caps, 911. And now we want to drag it downwards, so in the middle of your slide. The car, it can move, so we're going to hold shift and drag the car outside of the screen. Move the title up a little bit. We're going to hold control, shift, and drag it to create a copy. Reduce the size. And then use one of the quotes from the website. The most perfect sports car. This doesn't have to be bold. We're going to reduce the font. We're going to make it ultra light, like a little bit of a subtitle. And maybe let's add some shade to that title. Go to text options, shadow, drop shadow, and increase some blur, reduce, increase the transparency. Doesn't have to be much, it's just that little extra touch. This means if we add a title to the page, we have to, it has to appear from somewhere. So we're going to copy this Porsche 911, go into the previous slide, paste it on here, drag it downwards until it is almost fully covered by the car or fully covered by the car, right click, send to back and now the morph transition will do its thing it will push the car outside of the screen and then the title 9 porsche 911 will rise up slightly the subtitle if you don't apply a morph transition it will just fade in place transitions morph and here we see something went wrong with our layering that's probably because our car let's bring it to the front and do the same on the other side there we go and let's see if that works that looks better now let's play the entire presentation through from the start. So we have the opening slide. If we click, the Porsche flies in, get some nice information, nice picture. On the second click, you get the three key elements and a little close up of the car. Next, we will go to three important figures of the car and eventually the car drives off and gives a nice closing title with a slogan. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. And if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, please make sure to watch the video on the screen right now.